question, just raise your hand and we will call on you. Coach. Really good, really good uh, team win. Excited for the guys in the locker room. Um, they were excited too. Uh, got a lot of former great players that were back with Al being here too. It was awesome to, to have some of those guys uh, around and experience it too. And, and Al talked to our football team a little bit at the end. You can tell his passion and emotion for the power team, this football program. And uh, it was a great message for our guys too. And, and uh, uh, obviously the first half, uh, all three phases played really well. There's some things in the second half that you can't do. It's a great lear learning lesson for our players, just the, the, the competitive edge and, and how fine of a line it is. And, and you got to be on the right side of that for 60 minutes. And, and uh, you pull off just a little bit, you lose uh, focus just a little bit. And, and all of a sudden, uh, the things that were happening uh, don't, uh, don't transpire in the second half. So uh, some things that we got to be better at, coaching staff included. Uh, overall, a great win uh, for our program. And uh, enjoy it tonight and, and then get back to, to work next week uh, for a really big football game. Questions will start with Austin. I, I don't know if you satisfied with the second half, but when you look at how thin you guys were going into the day with all the injuries and guys that were out, I'm proud of how the guys that stepped up like Brandon Turnage and some of the guys sure. that competed. You look on the defensive side of the football with the, the guys that we have out, starters and maybe a guy that was a backup that, were, that was playing a week ago. Uh, there, there's some some uh, some new guys out there today. They showed up, they played assignment sound, they communicated the right way, they played extremely hard. A lot to be proud of uh, with a lot of guys back there. You mentioned Brandon Turnage, um, guy played, uh, I'm not going to say flawless because I haven't watched the tape yet, but he played rock solid today. It was uh, a great effort by him. David? Josh, on that touchdown from Hooker to, to Peyton, I think that was a, a three play drive, and it was like the 17th play of the game. Obviously, he got all alone in that secondary behind him. Was that was that a scripted deal? Was that part of the original script? Because it seemed like y'all were going slants and sideline routes and then all of a sudden hit that deep? Yeah, just, uh, you know, situational football, the way things unfolded, um, you know, where, where bodies were placed. We had an opportunity to, to, to stress the defense there and, and take a shot. And uh, protection was really good on that play, and they did a great job of reading it out and, and uh, you know, got to the uh, to the deep post there by Javante. It was, uh, it was a great way to start the, the second drive right there. Adam in the front, then Patrick. <coughs> Yeah, I, I know you would like to win no matter how you could, but can you appreciate the fan experience of how fun this brand of football is to watch? I hope they, I hope they enjoy the heck out of it. You know, I mean that we're going to play fast and physical in, in all three phases of the game. Um, offensively, yeah, we're probably a little bit different than what's happened, but the defense too, man. Like um, the ability to be multiple, to be aggressive. Our kids are competing really hard, and uh, I think that's uh, the first step to, to making uh, this fan base in this state extremely proud of who we are on the football field. Coach, it looked like Hendon had another pretty efficient day. I think Coach Dolich this week talked about how you guys know what you're <coughs> getting him because he's so consistent. How, how much does that make your job as a play caller and a staff easier knowing that he's going to be steady and, and do what you're asking him to do? Hendon's continuing to grow in, in, into us offensively to, to have complete command of what we're doing. Um, that's in the run game, that's in the pass game, it's understanding protections. Um, you can see that we trust the ball in his hands in certain situations too and, and uh, continues to grow and take great care of the football, has great command and, and uh, you know the players have responded to him in a really positive way. Eric, then Rob. Uh, another productive first half offensively. <coughs> what goes into making that a theme in you know, the last four games of the season? Great preparation, great focus. Understand what you're going to see from the other side of the football. You see something different, being able to adjust. Had to do that a week ago. Mm -hmm. And then executing. And, uh, you know, so those were the great things that we saw early in the, f in, the, in the first half of the football game. Second half, not far off. It's not all 11, um, you know what I mean? But just being a little bit off. And, and uh, you got to be better there and, and, and play a complete 60 minutes. Coach, I know you'd rather, like you said, play a complete 60 minutes. But as a coach, is it also you also like it and you now have some teaching, some, some stuff you can point to on film and say, you know, this is what happens when you guys don't, don't bring it for Yeah, I don't, I don't think I liked it during the last 30 minutes of play, <laughs> but uh, certainly on, on Monday there will be a lot of things that we can catch our guys' attention with. And, and if they're not going to, you know, walking in the building, we won't have their attention. Uh, we should have it by the time they sit down and watch the uh, first few minutes of, of the video with us. It's coaches and players together, though, in everything that we're doing. There, there's ways that we got to be better as a staff. Um, I, the great thing about this group of guys, and, and we're far from perfect, but they care about each other, 
and uh, they're prideful and they've had growing really good habits, meaning that we continue to get better week to week, how we practice, how we meet. <clears throat> if we continue on that course, we've got a chance to be a better football team next Saturday when we step on the field. West, then back to Austin. A couple things real quick. Is Tyon all right? What was the deal there with him? Yeah, I, at the end of it, just didn't want to put him in. We'll, we'll find out more as, as the weekend goes on. And with the injuries overall, I know that <coughs> you knew going into the season the numbers were what they were. I mean, just a, as a coach, how concerning is this? How unusual is it to, to be in a situation where you've got you know this many guys hurt and you're kind of working down the depth chart? If anybody here has got eligibility, please let me know after the, uh, the press conference. I'll, I'll be open to try out here on Sunday. Okay. Now, our guys got to have the next man up, up mentality. Uh, you saw today guys that maybe hadn't gotten their opportunity yet were, were ready when the, the opportunity presented itself today. If we continue to, to work and prepare and it's about the team, then uh, when you get your opportunity, you'll be ready to play the way we need you to. First three or four months you were here, this is still a good recruiting day period. And you got to have camps. I know you guys want to be able to put some stuff on the and you're halfway through the year. What do you think recruits are seeing in this program right now? What do you think that, you know, we have three official districts here today and a bunch of unofficials. So what, what do you think they're seeing week to week for you guys? Yeah, for a long time, uh, when you take over a program, you're talking about what it's going to look like. That's in your building and it's on the football field. It is, you know, with it being a dead period, once June hit, we were able to get them around us. And, and uh, young men that are looking for the right things in, in their college football experience, I think, gravitated towards our, our program. Now you get an opportunity to see what it looks like on the field. We want to be the fastest, most aggressive football team on, on the field every single Saturday. And you know, some people approach that with, hey, that's an offensive mindset. No, that's, that's how we want to be in all three phases of the football game. I, I know recruits are seeing that week in and week out. They can see us growing as a football program. They see the, the fun that our players are having in the buildup of the week and, and how they perform on Saturday. They see how hard we're playing as, as, a, as a family. And, um, when you do those things, you know that the foundation of your program are really rock solid to, to be able to do those things as we continue to grow. Back to Patrick. Coach, uh, a couple things on the receivers. Obviously, Bayless had another game in the slot. Is that, some, is that a move you maybe would have gone to earlier had you not been kind of banged up in the, in the preseason? Also, with, with Jalen Hyatt making the play early in the game, was, was that just a, him having a good week of practice to get in, get in that early? No, I mean, we believe in Jalen uh, as, as a player, you know what I mean? believe in him in competitive situations. He's only going to continue to get better. The, the tough thing for us as, as an offensive unit is, you know, whether it was spring ball guys missing to training camp guys missing, the, the jigsaw puzzle was never really able to be put together. You know, we had guys that did a great job early in training camp and all of a sudden missed, you know, two or three weeks leading up to the first ball game and weren't ready to play until week two. And as young as we are in this offense, and some of them are young anyways, just as, as football players. Um, it just took us a little time to, to piece things together. Um, Bayless has the ability to play inside and out, believe in him in, in both spots. And we got a lot of really good young slots that we believe in too. Jalen had a really good day today. Coach, you all know, wanted to run have your offenses on first down going into this game, but uh, seven of your first eight uh, first downs were dropped back by Hendon. What caused that change this week? I just, you know, I mean, it's the way you're going to attack people and, and uh, your belief in what he's doing, being able to take care of the football, being able to read things out. And, um, you know, sometimes you want to change up who you are. You know, they, they're, they're scouting you too. We'll go to the back, Corky. Hey, Coach, uh, you guys have been pretty good cleaning up on the turnovers as of recent. Uh, once again, no turnovers today. What, what have you seen that's really changed over, you know, the past couple weeks? Guys doing the little things right. Um, you know, when, when you have it in your hands, it, you know, securing it. Um, the football is the team, man. You got to take care of it. Um, it's little things of, of how you carry it. It's, you know, putting your second hand on it when you're in traffic. It's getting pat on the pad so they don't get a helmet on the football. But there's other things, too. There's, there's protections, you, you know, in, in, in your pass game. Good decision makers. Wide receivers being in the right spot, you know. Catching the football when it when it's in their hands, there's a lot of things that, that play into it. It's not just one position; it's all 11 guys doing their job at a really high level. Jimmy in the front. Josh, you were eight out of nine on third down conversions in the first half. <coughs> what led to that efficiency? Um, some of it was the situations that we were in, um, our, our ability to to be balanced. Uh, weren't in a ton of third and, and extra longs. Execution, uh, good protection, 
uh, when we dropped back and, and threw it. Efficient in our run game. A couple really nice runs, getting pad under pad and, and getting finishing, you know, plus two. Just the opposite in the second half when we weren't converting. To the right. Hi, Coach. Um, you guys have two really tough games coming up these next two weeks against number 17 Ole Miss and number one Alabama. How much do you think these past two wins will help your team's confidence going into those two games? I, I think it helps just in, in the buy-in. That was a question, you know, last week. And, and uh, you know, for our players, I, I think they've seen that if you buy into the process and, and do it at a really high level, the results will come. Um, we're continuing to grow. This is a game of, of one-week seasons, man. Every week's different. All we care about is uh, enjoying this one uh, with, for our players tonight. I'll probably flip the switch pretty quick here, and uh, and then we'll be on to, to the next one here with Ole Miss. Back to West, front right. Chris, I think it was I think it was 38 to 20 there when y'all maybe took the ball there in the fourth quarter, and, and still we're kind of going tempo a little bit. A lot of teams kind of slowed down in that situation. You all just playing the way you play, playing that fast, aggressive, trying to keep them on their heels. Yeah. yeah, I'm not sure if it was 38-20 at that time. Maybe maybe it was. I, I'd have to go back and look at it. Um, there was a portion of it where we felt like uh, we hadn't gotten in rhythm and, and to just get the first first down and, and get to a situation where you had an opportunity to drain the clock. It was important for us to use a little bit of tempo at that time to, to help us. David? Josh, you're four and two now, a lot closer to five and one and three and three at the midway mark. Is this, I mean, can you kind of assess where, where you think you are, you, uh, where you expect it to be? I know it's kind of tough to give a midseason snapshot right at the end of a game, but I mean, are you kind of where you thought? Or? Man, we were good enough to win today. End of the day, that's really all I'm thinking about. Um, it's what our players need to be thinking about too, is you walk off the football field, you're either good enough or not on, on that given day. Uh, it's a hard game, tough, played by a bunch of really good players on both sides, good coaches. and highly competitive. So uh, pleased with the effort today. It's a week of one game seasons. I think our guys will, will flip the script on Monday when they come back in the building and be ready to have a great week of preparation for, uh, for Ole Miss. Coach has time for one more. Anything else? All right. Thank you. We will have players shortly. Guys, appreciate it. Have a great